Good evening. I haven't made a video for a few days, so, uh, you know, busy weekend again, so, um, while I'm clearing up in the bedroom, I thought I'd turn the camera on and have a chat. As you can see, I've made some of a dent. There's less computers over there. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. This little silver Dell dimension. C521, I think. Yep. That's on eBay. Uh, this black one is all together. Minus the memory and hard drive ready to go on eBay. Uh, same as that one. Yeah. A bit of a tidy up on the part shelf there. I wouldn't actually mind turning this into a complete computer cupboard. So I'd like clear this shelf, move all the computer spares that are on this shelf down, and take that shelf out, and perhaps clear this shelf as well. So I'm going to have two on the top shelf, and the next one down full of computers. And then perhaps the same at the bottom, because I am actually considering selling all those toy cars that are down there. And all them blue crates. I think there's about eight down there. There's um, toy cars. Matchbox, Corgi, Majorette, Maisto, loads. And actually, talking of Maisto cars, I put a job lot of seven on eBay in boxes. They're all boxed, mint in boxes. Start them off at 99p, and I thought I'd be lucky to get 99p for them because you know they're they're not a top brand like Matchbox or Hot Wheels, so I wasn't expecting to get a great deal for them. Well, so far they've gone up to seven pounds and forty-nine pence. So that's a little more than one pound per car, which is a lot more than I was expecting to get. So I'm going to. Um, go through and find out all the non-boxed Maisto cars I've got in amongst that lot and uh, perhaps put those on eBay. I'm just, I'm losing interest in my cars, you know, I don't talk about them as much, I don't do anything with them. Obviously, because of my interest in the emergency services, the police cars, the fire engines and the ambulances and other emergency vehicles I will be keeping, but I think most of this lot will eventually go on eBay and be sold. I may sell them as small job lots or just put them on as individual cars over a period of time. But, uh, I've got so many it's going to take quite a while. And I've got a couple of transporters up the back there and some vintage ones up here. These are sort of 60s and 70s up here. Double-decker buses might go. And there's two over the back there that are in good condition. A bit dusty, but they're in good condition. I don't know, though. Uh, I'll probably keep the odd one or two, but most of these on here, I can see, will go. <coughs> make some room because the main two hobbies that I actually concentrate on that involve being in the flat are my um, Lego and my computers so you know all you can do with model cars is basically collect them and display them you, you know unless you want to be an absolute big kid and play with them or if you've got the room, you, I suppose you could make dioramas if you've got the room, I know. I do watch someone on YouTube who has made a scrapyard or a junkyard diorama in the middle of his uh, basement. But I prefer more sort of um, practical hobbies or hands-on hobbies. You know, where I can put something together like these PCs and take them apart. No real reason to do, you know, to do that with these old PCs, but... I enjoy doing it. I think that's all that really matters. If I get enjoyment out of it and I have fun doing it, then who cares? <laughs> anyway, I'm in the middle of having a clear-up. 
Uh, let me see. <laughs> I've got lost now, I don't know where to start. I've picked up all the laptop parts that were down here, and they're in a box over the back. There, in front of that plastic container, or behind that plastic container with a blue lid. That's with four laptop parts. So, we're getting somewhere. I may have to reinforce that shelf because that is bowed quite a lot. But that is only um, chipboard, it's not, well, what you would class as proper wood, it's not solid wood like these doors. These doors are solid wood. Well, actually, they might not be, they might be panelled. No, they are solid wood. Uh, that's just sort of, I don't know, you might be able to see it there where that chip is in it. You know, it's only chipboard. You sort of cheap furniture stuff, exactly the same sort of stuff that chest and drawers will be made out of. <coughs> uh, what else can I talk about? Well, I need a new bed mattress because uh, the springs are finally gone on this one after five years. Well, that mattress is a lot older than that because it was the mattress my sister was using. And uh, I've used it pretty much since she got rid of it. <laughs> She upgraded to a double bed, so I took the single bed. That's why this one's got all those lovely flowery hearts and things at the ends. <laughs> they don't bother me. I only use it to sleep in. In fact, I've had loads of people here and they've never actually said anything, so I suppose they never notice. I suppose you guys wouldn't have noticed unless I said something, so... Oh well, never mind. Uh... Yeah, it's night time again. You can see me in the window. Oh, someone's just messaged me on Yahoo. That can wait a minute. Uh, this, this is a bit of a random vlog, really, because I'm not doing much at the moment. That's, that's one reason I haven't made a video for the last few days. I've only been uploading what I've had backlogged on the computer every day or so, and just to keep up, but I'm starting to run out of videos. Uh, yeah. So I think what I will do, because it's a bit hard to run around with the camera and clean up at the same time, I'm going to do a bit more. And, uh, I need to go take a temple anyway, so I'll turn the camera off for five or ten minutes and come back. Well, it'll only be like a split second for you, when, won't it? With the magic of editing, so uh, I'll be back soon. Well, I'm back. I haven't actually done anything since I turned the camera off, because all I've done is uh, been to the toilet to answer a call of nature and basically come back and turn the camera on. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Right, that top motherboard is knackered, so that won't go in the bin, or in the scrap trailer, one or the other. That one, mm. I don't know, I'm going to try it on eBay, I don't know if it's actually worth anything, or worth putting it on eBay, because, uh, it will only fit in a HP flat case, a desktop case. Not, it's not designed for an upright case. That one I need to put a heat sink on it and probably throw it into another empty case with a power pack and... Uh, pardon me, put that on eBay. This toolbox, I'm going to put an advert on free cycle. Oh, I've got a gas regulator here. I could try that on eBay, I suppose. I know I'm up in a flat. It's not like I need a gas regulator. <laughs> I don't have a barbecue or anything, so... Yeah, there's, there's tools in this box, but... There's nothing I really need. That's well, worth salvaging, actually. I might put those on eBay. Brand new pair of brass door handles. 
Most cordless drills do work, but they're not don't really hold the charge for long. But they are quite your old standard cheap crap really. There's a few other little tools in there. So I'll probably put this on free cycle. And someone can take it for free. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the old CRT TV, I don't know whether to keep it. Because there's a shop in town that's got a Sega Mega Drive for sale. Well, he's got two on top of each other, but only one's got a sticker. So I don't know if he's selling the pair for 30 quid with the bag of cables and a couple of games that are there, or... I don't know. I am interested in £30. I suppose you want feeding, do you? <laughs> right. Don't need to go in the wardrobe for a bit, so I'm going to stack some that toolbox in front of there out of the way. Mm, I don't know what to do with these rigger boots either because oh, I don't wear them. Don't wear them, don't have a use for them. My dad gave me them, but I've never used them. I've got my steel toe cap boots which are in the lounge. I don't know. I suppose I could put them on FreeCycle or a local Facebook for sale group. I'll take the brake lever off that and scrap it still. I've been wanting to do that for the last, I don't know, couple of months or more. What a home for them trainers down there. Sneakers, as Americans would call them. I think that what is the equivalent. Sneakers in America, trainers here. Uh, yeah, that's that knackered motherboard. I've got all them front drailers to put back in the box in the cupboard on the landing, but that's uh, it's probably close to 10 o'clock now, so I can't really bang around out there doing that because I've got to get to the tub first. A box of bike reflectors can go out in that cupboard as well. I'll do that in the morning. Uh, a cardboard box down there I need to go through. There's a cardboard box of bike bits I need to go through. In fact, I may try these pedals on eBay again. Um, Odyssey aluminium. BMX pedals proper uh, does help if I've got them in front of the camera, doesn't it? Um, proper metal BMX pedals that I've had kicking around for quite some time now, so I think they can go. I've got a pair of them in there. A few handlebar stems in that box. I, can, I think most of that is actually stuff to go downstairs anyway. Number of times I go downstairs, and I always forget to take something with me. Ugh. I don't know if I can actually be bothered to do much more tonight. Uh, I've had that one of them moods for the last few days as well, at, where I just haven't been motivated to do anything. I was at Mum's Sunday. And I've got a cat tray that still need cleaning. I've got a kitchen that need cleaning. I've got a delayed kitchen light. Yeah. So I've got scrap up the top. I've got loads of scrap to go down to the trailer. I've got loads of scrap on the trailer. Right. <coughs> Take this box through. A box of computer cables. Like I said, it's getting late. I know the couple below me go to bed at around 11, I believe he told me once. It was 11. So I tend to pretty much quit doing anything at around about 11. Because uh, 
sometimes I can be prone to be clumsy and drop things on the floor, as I did the other night in here. I can't remember what it was. I think it was a power pack for a computer. Not a computer, a laptop. Well, a laptop is a computer. Uh, yeah, one of them power supplies for a laptop I dropped on this floor, and that did make quite a loud thud. Um, yeah, I know things like that can't be helped. But uh, sometimes she does complain about things like that. Which is, I suppose in a way it is fair enough, you know. When he's trying to sleep. But like I said, at the same time, it's not like I do it deliberately to be a pain in the ass or horrible. You know, I've got nothing against anyone in the block. I'm happy. As far as I know, they're happy. But within this building... Coming up to six years, July. Yeah, I moved in July of 2009. So what's that? 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. be six years this year. And uh, I've only ever had, I don't know, two, three complaints come my way. Yeah, you can't see the trailer. It's too dark. But they are stacked quite high of a lot of stuff. I sort of threw a lot of the bike wheels down in the shed. So there's a part of those on there. Uh, which are going to mums anyway, because I'll give them to Mr. Biggles. Uh, that's not his real name, that's just what I call him, Mr. Biggles. His nickname is Biggles, so I call him Mr. Biggles. Uh, he likes to weigh in his, um, well, what the class is, dirty alloy, which is aluminium with perhaps some, something stuck to it, like plastic, paint, aluminium, um, not aluminium, steel or something, so in the case of an alloy wheel, it would probably be steel spokes that would class it as dirty alloy. You wouldn't get much more if you spent the time cutting the spokes out of the wheel, to be, to be honest. But uh, he's always helped me out with bike parts, so I know it's not a lot giving him some dirty alloy to weigh in and cable, but it's better than throwing it in the bin. If he could get a few quid for it, then I'd rather give it to him. Like I said, he's always helped me out with bike parts and whatnot. And even given me whole frames that I can build up and sell on. I'm just wandering around talking to the bloody camera now. I'm not really doing anything. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I've completely just... not feeling motivated. I keep thinking if I could get rid of one of these Asus cases here. You know, like the Asus bare bones, or do I keep the Asus bare bones and the one underneath? And there's an empty case underneath that, which I, I don't know. Well, I was going to say I could put it on eBay, but it's only a standard case, which you could probably pick up for 30, 40 quid brand new, so... I think I'd be lucky to get a fiver for it on eBay. Maybe if I throw some other bits and bobs into it, you know, like a motherboard and a CD drive of some sort. See, I'm not sure what to do with these two white cases I've got. Do I strip them down for the parts? Or do I try them on eBay as they are? I don't know, about, you know, start them off at a fiver or something. Because... The cases are complete and there's everything in there. All I'd have to do is put the side covers back on and throw them on eBay. Although I do want the disc drives out of that one. And if I remember rightly, that one's yeah, that one's got a cracked front panel. So I think I will actually end up scrapping that one as well. But uh, I can't get any more scrap on the trailer. I don't really want to ask the guy that collects my scrap to collect it yet because he's the same guy that got me the computers so I'd rather I, don't, I just feel bad for getting him to come and collect that them old computer cases when I haven't finished paying for them yet as daft as that may sound I, just, I would just prefer to pay it all off so then everything becomes officially mine and then he can take the scrap away besides Scrap prices are still low. Whew. 
Let's find some parts for that. Actually, talking of computers, I'm just going to take you to the main desk now. I'll do this every time. As quick as I clear this area, I'll start drinking my coke and eating my snacks and whatnot, as you can see, and then it'll just fill up with crap again. And then I'll end up having to clear it again. You know, it's a bit like <laughs> lather, rinse, repeat. Yeah, no, I haven't got you on the tripod at the minute. Uh, script has gone again. Facebook's being a pain in the ass tonight. It's not loading. Well, it might be working all right now. Which actually, yeah. No, see, I'm getting a blank picture there. Nothing there. Well, I could go down and get another few pictures, and then there would be another two or three blanks. See, there's another one. Oh, it's not as bad now. It was really, really bad earlier. Now, don't want to see my. I don't want you to see my private messages with friends. I'm so glad I'm not my friend at the minute. It's nothing serious, but it is personal, so I can't divulge that information. <laughs> I'd rather not be him at the minute. <laughs> Poor sod. Right, as you know, I've got that little compact LTE Elite down there. Well, I found this one. Focus. Thank you. Uh, just got stuck. Well, the postage is it pretty damn high. I'm not sure why the postage is as high as that. It's twenty pounds to post it, and that is that is actually in the United Kingdom. Um, yeah, there it is. As you can see, it's got a cracked sh screen, but this screen is smaller than the one I've got on there. But according to the the um, description up the top here, it's exactly the same as what I've got down there. A compact LTE Elite 4 slash 75 CX notebook. Four parts and repairs because it's got a smashed screen and whatnot. But I actually thought that may be because this screen bezel itself is exactly the same, it's just that the screen as you can see the screen comes up to here whereas on mine it comes up to this line. I was actually wondering if I could actually change the whole screen bezel. Because I very much doubt I'm going to find a screen for that laptop. Well, I might, but it might take several months or even years before I'd find one. But uh, I thought, you now I've made a few sales on eBay, you'll know that these aren't going to come up very often because I think these were more like business laptops. See, even the keyboard and everything is exactly the same. It's just the screen. Um, looks like the battery is missing. Oh no, it isn't. It's in this in the pardon me in the first picture. Apart from the screen, the plastics look in better condition on this one. You know, for a five pound start bid, I still don't know why the postage is twenty quid. It should only be about fifteen quid tops. Now I don't mind people putting the extra on for the actual packaging. You know, after all, it is called postage and packaging, especially if if I arrives, you know, well if I win it and it arrives well packed then I won't have nothing to complain about really. But uh yeah, the only reason I want to go for it is because I've got one already sitting here and I could hopefully make a good one out of the two. That is my plan. Uh either later this evening or tomorrow I'm going to send this seller a question asking if the hard drive is present. Um, I know it won't come with a power supply because you can run these from the um, direct from the mains with a 
um, standard mains cable. I don't actually know what the name of the cable is. <laughs> I know you can get clove leaf. Uh, you can get what we call ket leads, which have another lead name for them, and I can't remember what it's called. And then you get this other two pin type. And I can't remember the name of that one either. Uh, so that I can show you the because it's on the back there. Yeah, just one of them two pin sockets. I've got loads of those cables. I've got several spare clover leaf cables. I've got several spare of all sorts of cables actually. So that's the plan. It's got two days and seventeen hours left at the time of making this video. By the time I get around to putting the video up, it might uh, <laughs> might be actually ended by then. Well, that is my plan. Still got stuff to end on eBay. Shall we have a look? All selling. Let's see what I'm selling. I don't know how well this is, how clear this is going to be on the camera. It's hard to see on my little camera screen. I've got some Mavic wheel rims. Two of them I got a ten pound bid on. Uh, two have got four watches, one's got twelve, this top one here has got twelve watches. You know, I didn't realise I had that many, I've still got a Mavic rim downstairs in the shed which I may throw on eBay as well because I haven't got use for them. Uh, these are the Maisto cars that I put up for sale. Uh, 749. I've got a Matchbox truck here which has got a two pound bid on it. There's the Dell Dimension. It's got three watches on it. Oh, I thought they only had one watcher. It's gone up. There's a Matchbox Jaguar car here with one watcher and a 118 scale Ferrari F40 with a watcher. I think this is the first time I've had everything on eBay actually have a watcher. Usually I only get like a handful of items that will have watches and the rest no watches and only views. And they won't sell. <laughs> and this is the first time that everything I've listed actually has at least one watcher. And I've still got a couple of computers to put up and I know there's a bike part somewhere, I think it's down in the shed still I've got to put on. It's a vintage part. Uh, so I've still got 30 quid to come from current sales, thereabouts, give or take. Uh, I've had over 30 quid already because I sold the bike for 30 quid and some 1970s Lego cupboards from their home theme they did back in the day and I got one pound seventy for uh, I don't know how many was in the job lot actually half a dozen or more different cupboards including a sink and a stove yeah I meant my Lego but I'm not really into that theme so I might as well sell it and someone who is will obviously snap it up Uh, yeah, I haven't done too badly, done better than I thought. Still got that Falcon bike to finish that I had up here. Oh, I've got that racing frame to go on. It's actually quite a nice blue and it's aluminium. I'm just going to take the uh, bottle cage off. Uh, one, because I don't really want to set up with the bottle cage on anyway. I don't think anybody would actually want it. And two, I want the bottle cage for another bike anyway. <laughs> so, that'll be coming off. Once I've done that, I'll give it a quick clean over and photograph it, and that can go on eBay as well. got a pair of racing forks up there, but they're not really in that good condition, so 
I think they may end up on the trailer for scrap. So, apart from that bike frame and them two computers and any other die-cast cars that I decide to photograph and sell, that's one reason I've started to tidy up in the bedroom, because I need to drag them car boxes out and go through them. Because I want to find all these little Mosto cars. See, that's in mint. Not boxed, but it is mint, in mint condition. Little, um, I think it's a Suzuki Vitara. No, it's a, a um, Suzuki Jimny, I think. It's actually pretty hard to see. That's a it's a Suzuki anyway. It's, well, part of me still wants to keep them. Like I said, there's certain things that I probably will continue to keep. Not my 50th anniversary set up there. Although I may get rid of the refuse trucks, may put them on, a, put them on as they are as a job lot. Oh, I've got people messaging me. It's broken now. Oh, good. She's feeling better. Yeah. <sighs> I've been busy at a friend's for a rather tired now. Yeah. <sighs> That might be the other reason why I can't be bothered to, to do any more in the bedroom. I might pick up the rubbish from here. Empty some of these coke bottles out. If you're wondering why all my coke bottles end up with a little bit in the bottom, it's because I usually get to the point where I can't get that last little bit in the glass, and by the time I go back to the last little bit in the bottle, it's gone flat anyway. And there's not, I don't think there's anything worse than drinking flat Coca-Cola. Well, any cola for that matter. I've got a thing for Pepsi Max at the moment. I was drinking Freeway Cola out of Lidl's, but my taste buds have gone seriously off that. I used to drink it a lot before my local Lidl's closed to uh, completely rebuild the store. They demolished it and rebuilt it. I think seven, eight months, hang on, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Seven months that took them. I uh, it was um, drinking Sainsbury's own dark Coca-Cola, or dark cola, and uh, I've now gone completely off Little's Freeway. I don't know. I know they changed the label on the Freeway Cola, so I don't know if they've changed something in the recipe as well. I really do have too much stuff. You know, six years ago when I moved in here, all I had was a coffee table, my desktop PC, and a few boxes of bits, and that was it. I had no furniture, uh, no cooker or oven, no microwave, no fridge, no freezer, no nothing. That's all I moved in. The first day I moved in, that's all I had. Uh, if you're wondering what I was sleeping on, I was actually sleeping on some old sofa cushions up against that wall over there with a quilt over me. <laughs> and actually, I think that at the moment that would be a lot more comfortable than laying on that mattress. The springs are gone. And trust me, that's not very comfortable when the springs do that. It's really lumpy and horrible. And I'm just glad the ones that I decided to poke through the mattress are poked through the bottom and not the top. Uh, I do wish... You know, Mum has actually left stuff here. She went... Her and her partner, or my stepdad, went through a bad patch over a year ago now. They've been stable for about a year. Yeah, they've had their ups and downs like anyone else. You know, things have been a bit tough, especially this year. And uh, especially since he had his uh, motorcycle accident last November. But, uh, there's still stuff of mum sitting here, like that oil lamp up at the top there. That's mum's. Most of the plants on this window ledge are mum's. The um, cactuses are mine. I think I paid 50p for those from a charity shop. So 50p or a pound each, something like that. Yeah. For some
some reason, this is my aloe vera, which was taken from seedlings from that one, but for some reason, neither of them seem to be doing that well at the moment. These little ones, all these new shoots, seem to be dying off. That's Mum's orchid. I keep them watered, not too regularly, but not um, too seldomly either. Apparently orchids don't need a lot of watering anyway, so I only give that water every now and again. I don't know. But these aloe veras have done this before, they've sort of looked like they're about to die like this and then perked up again. So I've actually got two in this pot. I think I need to repot that one really. Uh, when you live in a flat like this, without a garden, where on earth would you get the dirt from? I might be able to find a bigger plant pot of mums. I think I need to repot that cactus as well, because it's getting a bit large. They grow so slowly. I've had these cactuses a couple of years. That one hasn't really grown too much, and that one sprouted. And there's another little spray in there as well, as you can see. I think there's like two in this one as well. That oil lamp is also mums. <sighs> old CRT monitor over there in the Apple Mac. So I've got nowhere else to put them. Teapot. I might as well go in the bin because I don't use teapot. I don't really drink tea. And then my kettle is there somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere over there, underneath that lot. You might be able to just see the beige thing underneath that Sainsbury's bag. The only time I really use that is if I'm, I don't know, going to cook some pasta, because I'll cheat and boil the water first, because then it takes less time on the cooker, <laughs> which needs to clean. And trust me, that cooker's been a hell of a lot worse than that. Actually, this kitchen's been a heck of a lot worse than it is. I've got that computer to scrap, that just leaning on it just reminded me. So the other the other thing I use that kettle for is if I'm making some instant gravy and the toaster is seldomly used as well. Uh, actually my oven is seldomly seldomly used. If I do use it now, I do just use the other one. I barely use the hobs. Because I prefer to do things the easy way, you know. If I can throw, it, throw everything in the oven, I will. Yeah, I don't have the best of diet on the planet. Got some cans up there, go in the recycle bin. Yeah. Adam from Vlog and Life thought his house was untidy. Yeah, he hasn't seen my apartment yet. He probably never will, because he probably doesn't even watch me. <laughs> I can hear him. Now, what is he doing? You all get the two. What are you trying to get? <laughs> really? I bet there's a. Ah, I wonder if he's seen that cable for the battery charger in there for them drills, and he's trying to get that. <sighs> I haven't even bought any road lamps from my collection for a while. That's a video I want to do in the future as well. I'm going to go through all my traffic cones I've got in the shed, because I've got some that are old and belong to some agencies here. I've got an old BT traffic cone. I've got old police. Norfolk Constabulary um, no parking cones. I've got quite a few different things down there actually. Well, I just thought that'd be a random thing to go through one day. I'd like to get this area cleared as well so I can get that bloody um, some more work done at that Lego thing. To me, beach. But I think I'd better clear some other stuff first, really. I'm going to finish scrapping that wheel. Mm, 
I might actually just leave it as it is and that could go mums as it is, I think. That's another alloy rim, but I think that's got stainless steel spokes on it. <sighs> find something to do with all them laptop adapters. I really need a, lap a Dell laptop, ideally, so I can um, properly test those adapters. I think they're all Dells anyway. Because if they did work, then I could throw them on eBay cheap. But uh, that would be quite a gamble to go out and buy a a Dell laptop. And I suppose I could go and buy one on eBay that's gone for spares or repairs and I could install, I don't know, XP or something on it. Just to test them. But uh, it's still quite a gamble to spend that money to find that each and every one is dead. I mean I stuck my um multimeter on them and they were kicking out the right voltage. But uh, that doesn't actually mean they're going to work under stress or under load. As we found out with that um, one that had the weird sticker on it, which wasn't a um, Dell adapter, but still. Okay, that hurt. Because this little shit... Yep, we just clicked over, we hit the 33 minute mark, so as I was saying, that effing hurt because shithead here decided to jump onto my lap and stick his claws into my leg. Not that he cares, look. He gets to sit on my lap and give me cuddles, that's all that matters to him. You don't get many cats like him, most cats I come across either run away or don't like being picked up or don't like being cuddled but trust me any one of you guys on YouTube if you come into my flat he will let you pick him up and give him a cuddle he loves it and he will sit and meow and nuzzle around your feet until you do bless him I still love it a bit, though. I can't tell him off for sticking his claws at my leg. He didn't do it deliberately. Although that did friggin' hurt. Normally he doesn't do it, but I don't know if it's because I was leaning back in the chair. I've got one of those computer chairs you can... That'll tilt backwards so, you know... Well, tilt back so far. This chair is actually knackered. Got the other one through there, but well, it ain't knackered, it's just getting warm. But I've had it a year, so I've had a year's use out of it. <coughs> Ooh, this is really turning into a random vlog, isn't it? Oh, I went to my um, psychologist appointment last Thursday, 16th of April. <coughs> So I've got to wait, she said, about three weeks before I'll hear back from her to get the diagnosis, or not diagnosis, whatever the case may be. And uh, naturally, as soon as I come away, there's been several things I wish I'd have said while I was there. I don't think she actually asked enough questions personally, but who am I to judge? I'm not an expert. So, am I on the ASD scale or am I not? We won't know for a few weeks. She wants to contact my G. <coughs> oh, my throat's getting dry. She wants to contact my GP and uh, see if he's got, or to see if there's anything relevant in my medical files. I can't think of anything I've been to the doctor for that might be relevant but you never know I suppose the doctors take notes down of you as well and put them on your file so who knows there might be although my GP didn't even know what um, autism was 
Well, he did, but he didn't know much about her. And I suppose when you're a doctor, you've got to know so many different illnesses and conditions, it's probably quite easy to forget. Which I suppose that's why they've got to, uh, for one reason, why they've got to look into a lot of illnesses. Especially the non-common non ones. <clears throat> no, I don't envy being a doctor. It's probably not the easiest job. And probably not the most pleasant at times, either. They're sort of like the unsung heroes of the world, aren't they? Like firefighters. I think it's debatable with the police. But, uh... Wing. That would just lead me into another rant or another tangent, and I'm not going to do that in this video. It's gone long enough as is. <coughs> oh, I'm going to have to pour some coke, I think, to get wet my whistle. Yes, and I said wet my whistle, not my willy. I know what some of you dirty buggers are like. Right, I've got people messaging me on Facebook. That matters. I'll just answer them when I'm ready. Get your beak out of my glass. I do not want your cat fluff all over it. Because you're molten like a bugger at the minute. If I stroke his back now, I'm just going to get a handful of bloody cat fur. Whew. Right. Well, I haven't really got much planned for tomorrow other than continuing to uh, clear up around here. I've got them tars to go in the cupboard on the landing as well, because I took those off of those. There is actually a pair there that I want to keep. I do have a use for them in the future. I've got another bike on the way. <coughs> uh, it was going to cost me 40 quid, but because I... Uh, lent a friend a hand today, he's going to let me have it for 30 quid. Because originally I'd only gone over to his today to um, look at a couple of bikes his dad wants to sell. But uh, I wouldn't be able to offer a lot because I'd only buy them to sell them on again. <clears throat> so, as he's putting some stuff on eBay anyway, he's got another mate of his to put some stuff on eBay for him. I said put them on eBay because he'd get more money for them. There are only a couple of um, ladies' bicycles. One was a Claude Butler and one was an old three-speed rally. Probably 80s, maybe early 90s, something like that. It's in good condition. I just need to clean. And, well, it's got a puncture in the back tar, but I'm sure one of us could put that right before it goes on eBay. Um, then I just ended up helping him. Changing an axle in one of his back wheels. Because he needs to tow one of them little um, trailers you sit your children in. And of course you can't do that with um, a quick release wheel. You need a um, solid axle with a nut on the end to mount the hitch bracket on so I had to change that in his wheel for him when I eventually found the tools you thought oh, I was untidy you haven't seen his shed I doubt he'd let me film there anyway probably not a good idea either with lots of kids running about as well it'd be too distracting <coughs> right so yeah, tomorrow's job. Finish off so look at that log, all that paper and laying in the hallway. And them two uh, well I actually now I might chuck one of them boards. <sighs> Give me Lord. Oh, there we go. Rest here. 
a question. Right. Well, look, that camera down there might be interesting to look at. There is another one in the rubbish pile that I might, when I remember, and when I can be bothered to go and get it, I'll go and grab it. If it's still there, it was there last time I looked. Yeah, it's been out there for months and been out there in the frosts and rain and I don't know what else. But with a good dry out, that'll still work, I expect. If you're wondering what that camera is, right there down by the wheel, just behind the wheels, between the two cabinets, that is a CCTV camera. Um, it was on a pole in the town, but the town uh, upgraded recently. And uh, they pretty much just left all these outside to rot. <laughs> So, uh, I helped myself to one. And I've seen other people help themselves as well, so... <clears throat> so, I guess no one really cares. I suppose it saves them having to dispose of them. Which I'll actually have to do soon. And, uh, and it's clear the top of that. There's so much crap lying around. But it is getting to the point now where it is pissing me off, so be prepared to at some point in the very near future, when I turn the camera on, this flat will be absolutely spotless. <laughs> if I haven't fallen asleep before then. Anyway, we've gone on for quite a while, so I'm going to turn the camera off now. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye for now.